Hello, welcome back to the channel and video number 118. This one's going to cover the new Aviation Alice all-electric aircraft, which made its first flight on September 27th. I'm going to examine some of the technical details, specifications, performance, compare it to some other aircraft, and look at its possible future in the uh, commuter market. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this one, and uh, let's go! First, a bit of history here. The Alice design started out quite a bit differently than it looks today. The first iteration was a tail dragger, pusher, V-tail design that you see here. I'm not sure how the designers evaluated the engine out capabilities of this design. With the propeller so far out on the wingtips, would have uh, dangerous yaw characteristics if it ever lost the engine. Not to mention very low crosswind limits. So as you just saw in the caption, the original three-motor prototype was destroyed in a battery fire in 2020. And only one year later, they had the uh, second prototype, vastly different, completely new design really, all built. Simply amazing. The new design went to two motors uh, mounted on pylons near the tail, a uh, tractor rather than pusher, tricycle gear, a much more practical and attractive design in my view. Power comes from twin Magna X motors, uh, 850 horsepower, 650 kilowatt. Taxi testing was started in late 2021. Then the aircraft was moved to Moses Lake, Washington, where the uh, runways are much longer for flight testing. First flight lasted 9 minutes and covered 21 miles. Alice is equipped with an 820 kilowatt hour battery weighing 8,200 pounds. Yes, that's right, over 4 tons. Um, if you look at the actual capacity, you could probably only discharge it to about 80%. That would be equivalent to 656 kilowatt hours. So if we work the math here, endurance at 100% power is only 30 minutes. Endurance at 50% power would be one hour. The range at 220 knots and 50% power would be 220 nautical miles. This assumes all power is going to the motors. No power would be used for electrics, heating, cooling, pressurization, or de-icing. Cape Air was the first airline to order Alice. They are a short-range commuter airline operating in the U.S. Uh, Northeast and Caribbean. So a lot of short routes, somewhere around 150 to 200 nautical miles. Presumably it would be used to replace aircraft like Cape Air's 402s, and maybe in other settings like the Cessna 441 and the uh, King Air 200. They all seat approximately nine passengers. Herein lies the big problem with electric aircraft. The battery weight is uh, phenomenal compared to liquid hydrocarbon fueled aircraft. Here's a chart I made up depicting uh, total fuel required for a 200 nautical mile trip uh, with the three aircraft shown previously. Alice has no option to carry more fuel or trade fuel for more passengers or freight. Alice also has a big problem satisfying legal fuel requirements for passenger carrying flights, both VFR and IFR. Um, doesn't seem to have any endurance capability past getting to the destination. Certainly if they had a hold or something like that, they just couldn't accomplish it legally. So this calls into question the practicality of it at all in the real world. I prepared this chart showing a comparison between the three previous aircraft and Alice. What really stands out is the extremely high empty weight of the aircraft. And uh, with a very small wing that it has, it has a very high wing loading. It's actually about 10% higher than even a Lear 35. Uh, that doesn't bode well for endurance or high altitude flight with such relatively low power. And I just don't see how 
this is a good design for what it's intended to do. My next big concerns are with the uh, size of the horizontal stabilizer in this aircraft. Uh, it's extremely small. The cord of the wing is very small and the passengers seem to be located all very forward of the wing. I don't see how that's going to work out at all. You can see the high elevator deflection required just to rotate the aircraft with no passengers aboard on the first test flight here. I think that small stab is going to result in a pretty narrow C of G range. And you can see how the seats are arranged here all forward of the wing. I just don't see how that's going to work with a small tail. There's lots of talk about electric airplanes being zero emission. Well, it's not really true at all. Uh, first, we can look at this chart here and see that most electricity in the United States is not generated by renewable sources. We can see that the favorites of wind and solar, not very efficient either. Electric proponents often fail to consider the amount of CO2 produced during uh, production of batteries. So that includes the mining and actual production. For a battery of this weight, it would be approximately 57,000 to 74,000 kilograms of CO2 produced just to make that battery. At this time, lithium batteries can't be recycled either, so you've got these huge multi-ton batteries piling up somewhere, waiting for the recycling technology to evolve. Lithium batteries also degrade in performance at cold temperatures, as well as losing capacity over time during the charge and recharge cycles. Introduction to service on Alice has been put back several times. Now they're stating 2027. However, the aircraft uh, hasn't finished flight testing at all. It's got a long ways to go through the certification process. After the battery fire that destroyed the uh, prototype, they'll have to uh, convince the FAA that the latest battery setup they're using is safe, given that uh, lithium battery fires are extremely hard to put out, and extremely dangerous, produce a lot of smoke. That's gonna be a big hurdle. It's never really been done before. Heating, de-icing, and pressurization are all going to be big hurdles. How are they going to do that without uh, pulling more charge out of the battery and reducing range even further? I'm not sure. Maybe they've got something in mind that I don't know about. Eviation has downgraded their range several times. It's probably going to be a lot shorter than uh, even their latest estimates of around 250 nautical miles. I expect it'll be closer to 100 to 150 with present battery technology. I don't see Alice climbing to 30,000 feet like the specs show with a small wing. It would use so much uh, battery reserve getting there, it wouldn't go very far once it got there. So that doesn't seem very realistic either. To sum things up, um, I'd say kudos to the engineering and production team for getting this thing designed and actually flown. However, I see this as more of a technology demonstrator than a practical airplane. Uh, hopefully I'm proved wrong, but until battery technology improves tremendously, it's just not uh, practical.